what, what affects your timing? Was it a fitness thing, a burnout thing? Like, what was affecting it? Oh, just uh, fight skills are perishable. People forget about that. If you haven't been doing it, you know, you could be a great marksman. If you don't go to the range, your your accuracy is going to drop. Um, the good thing is, is once you have it, it's like jumping on a bicycle. It comes back relatively quick. But uh, sitting there going, oh, I'll, I, ha I just need to work on my stand-up, that was a mistake. It was an advantage to work on that, but it was a mistake to leave behind the jiu-jitsu. And now, so I worked at jiu-jitsu, and, and now my ground skills, I'm just as dangerous as I've ever been. Time management in MMA is really amazing to me because it's you have to work so many skills. Exactly like you said, things are perishable. How do you time manage multiple martial arts, really, for this type of game? Well, actually, I would tell most young guys, there's a book called uh, uh, The Mozart's Brain and the Fighter Pilot, and it really describes how you set short-term memory into long-term memory. Anyways, it's a good book on learning. And so, for example, if I were to work with Glenn and he shows me the head and stuff, that day he showed me that, I didn't let anybody else show me anything else. I could work things I already knew how to do to stay in shape and work my timing, but you don't improve upon, right? So like if I have a day I work with Carl Prince, right, my trainer, right? If he works something new that day, I don't go to jiu-jitsu and if Hafi's like, hey, you know, no, no, don't talk to me about it. I can only learn one new thing here today and it needs to be, you know, they actually use, I think, tennis and golf as an example. If you go in the morning, you work your tennis, you can go train golf at night, but you can't learn two different skills in the same day. And I think that's what a lot of our MMA guys do. That's one of the biggest problems we have. And that's why you see guys that are in shape and they're they're good, but they're not great at any one thing. And now if you watch, like on days that I work my stand-up, my sparring, that's all I care about. Now, I might go and roll for the workout, but I'm not trying to work out and get better at that. I'm only working on my timing on that aspect of my game. I'm so happy to hear you say that because a sports psychologist actually said that to me. At the time I was learning martial arts but I was teaching aerobics and they were like the reason why certain things aren't sticking with you is because your your neuromuscular system is doing too many activities in one day and I would forget. I would forget yeah. simple combinations. It was really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, you feel like you're treading water. You're not moving anywhere. Yeah. So that's why like if I work a skill, uh, we had some issues against the cage the other day with John Wood, right, my other coach. And it was something about my positioning and where I was, where I was using my shoulder on the underhook, right? Well, I just drilled it like crazy. And then that night when I worked pads with with Princey, I didn't. He was Princey even went to go ahead and show me something about how I was doing this. I was like, no, 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 no stop! I already got something in my head. Like, wait till tomorrow. Let me get a good night's sleep. Let me imprint this. Right, so it's like a hard drive, your brain. Yeah. You just need to yeah, keep. Let's go from the RAM, you know, into the yeah.